Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 9th of 2025 is titled the Jenga Moon. So what do we see here? Well, here in the foreground, we see a building in New York City, which looks like an unusually stacked group of houses almost put on top of one another. And above it, we see our moon. Now, to get an image like this requires some planning to make sure that you are in the right location to be able to see the moon and that it rises directly over the building that you're interested in. Then that's because various positions will change relative to where you are. So if you were a little further to one side of this building, then the building would appear to be in a different position and the moon would not appear to line up directly behind it as we see here. Now this is an image of the full moon, or what is also known as the harvest moon, which is the closest full moon to the time of the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere. So as the northern hemisphere goes from summer into fall, the full moon that occurs closest to that is often called the harvest moon, because the extra light of the moon may have been able to help farmers with their harvest at this time of year. So this was the full moon from October 6th, just a few days ago. And while I've said it is the full moon and it was known as the harvest moon, it was also what has become known as a super moon. Now a super moon is the full moon that occurs close to the time of perigee. Perigee is the closest approach in the moon's orbit to Earth. And, as you might expect, when the moon is a little bit closer to us, it'll appear a little larger and brighter in the sky. And this has often been called a super moon. Now, would you actually notice it as being any different? And the answer is really no. The moon will not appear noticeably brighter or larger in the sky to the ordinary observer. However, if you took pictures of the moon here and took them at the same scale at another time, then you would see that there is a distinct difference in the size of the moon. So you can see that between the supermoon and an ordinary full moon, you'd then be able to compare the two side by side and see a difference. However, the difference is small enough that you are not going to notice it when just looking at the moon in an image such as the one we see today. We can also note the distinct coloring of the moon, and that is the darker areas, which are known as the maria, or seas of the moon, which are old dried lava flows, and the highlands, which are lighter colored and are heavily cratered regions of the moon. So they represent two distinct points in the moon's history, and they show us about both the volcanic history of the moon and its history of impacts. So that was our picture of the day for October 9th of 2025. It was titled The Jenga Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be 50 light years to 51 peg. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.